Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. How's it going? Okay, so I'm continuing on with $3 food for one day and uh, a little uh, markdown shopping today that I did. Okay, this is the food I have left from the $3 for three days shopping that I did. This is three days food. I have some pizza crust mix, some hot dog chili mix, some chicken top ramen, some corn muffins, some corn beef, some pork and beans, some macaroni and cheese, some chili beans, some sliced tomatoes, some green peas, some green beans, some strawberry, um, yogurt, some Vienna sausage, some tuna, some uh, turkey lunch meat, and a banana, and then I have a 48 cent, that doesn't count, it just happened to be in the box, but, and then I ate some of the food, but this is what I did for three days. Now this is the fourth day, so I went to Walmart, I wasn't planning on getting the stuff at Walmart, it just worked out that way. So what did I get? I got one uh, chimichanga burrito for um, 94 cents. I ate it for lunch with the salad. My salad was lettuce, tomato, carrots, olives, capers with some salad dressing. I bought a chicken a burrito, chimichanga burrito for 94 cents. So I bought two burritos. And I bought a chicken pot pie for 84 cents. So about a dollar a meal. And then I bought a cherry pie for 30 cents. I might have been a couple cents over. But that's what I bought today. So I bought three frozen items and, and a pie. I'm not leaning heavily on frozen food because the, the uh, power might go out. Then for Mark's Down Shopping, now I live by a Smart and Final, so I thought I'll go see what they have. Well, it was a good thing I did. I got this. This is boneless beef slice for stir fry. One half price for $5. Now, and I got, this is, uh, about three pounds of hamburger and this was marked down to 632 so on the markdown shopping i so i bought a lot of beef okay so and i bought it marked down both of them good brands of beef 80 percent beef with 20 percent fat and this is premium beef okay so now what is you know you might be going what now what now they want to disrupt the the food chain right before uh, Thanksgiving. Well, you guys heard that what China wants to do is level the playing field. Otherwise, they want to make us and them more equal. Now, they don't want to prosper their population. They want to cause us to be less prosperous. They want us to be more socialistic and they want the upper uh, crust to pretty much monopolize the money. And so I understand a lot of this pretty well because my ex-husband was in Vietnam. Rule one, rules are for other people. My ex-husband died of Agent Orange. I don't think that was exactly legal, but that's what killed him. And they also wanted to hide it. And then, you know, I worked in many Asian shops and so I, I thought, and they would get so frustrated, and I thought, why don't you just do what I do? Well, they didn't want to do what I would did, but they didn't want me doing what I did either. So what I learned is, when I get home, I close the doors, and I do what I do inside of my house. So they might be saying, oh, this year we're not having Thanksgiving. If you're mayor or governor says no thanksgiving you're gonna say to yourself hmm i wonder if my governor 
I wonder if my uh, mayor has been bribed, has been blackmailed by the left. That's the first thing I would think of. Also, they want to, what they want to do is disrupt the status quo. That means no Christmas. We don't believe in Christmas. We want to make it more inclusive and worldwide. And so you don't need to be thankful at Thanksgiving either. So, okay, I'm closing my doors in my house. I wouldn't go screaming stuff at the rooftops. Okay, what a lot of it depends on like games or war. One way to avoid any kind of conflict is don't let them engage you. Go down to Walmart and buy yourself a turkey and a box of stuffing and some cranberry, um, some cranberries, and you know. Uh, have yourself a little Thanksgiving dinner and be thankful to hell that you got a turkey. And at Christmas time, I wouldn't go crazy, but I don't need a lot of decorations to celebrate Christmas. And it's nobody's business what I do anyway on Christmas. So I think what has to be done is we have to do what we do and not worry about what everyone wants us to do. If they want us to do stuff we want to do, okay, but I also don't believe in rules are for other people, laws are for other people. Another thing, if we see a big spike in the corona, you do not want to come down with this pneumonia in the winter time. Uh, you do not want to get into crowds. If you already did and you eluded the corona, then that's to be thankful. And so it's going to spike again. Out here, uh, we're, we're in the uh, purple region or whatever you call it, and people are refusing the lockdown, which is understandable. Maybe they can't afford to be off work. But um, if you lose your life, that's counterproductive too. So I would say we're very luck lucky because we know how to elude it. We stay out of public places. We wear a mask, and what I start doing is, if they keep me waiting and there's people, I wear two masks. Gloves and social distancing. And out here, they do not want a social distance. It is sad. It is sad what is gonna happen to these people. Okay, you guys, so what we're doing is we're saying, okay, uh, I could see a spike in beef, in milk, in cheese, in cottage cheese so i don't want to invest a lot of money but if i see good deals like this i will just buy them and that's going to go on and i change my uh, meals up a little bit to meat and vegetables and then you know some kind of small lunch i used to eat out but you know now i um i just have like a burrito at home uh, the hamburgers and chicken uh, sandwiches are pretty good from Walgreens, too, two for $2. So we're going to be looking for good deals. People can't disrupt us unless we let them. And so what you do is you refuse to let the agitators, the rioters, the news media engage you. You say, oh, it appears that you're trying to engage me. Forget it. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.